Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to take a look at the tank. Some of the changes that I've made in there, some I think you're going to be uh, be really uh, surprised at. And other, other, but other than that, basically a little overview of the tank and some of the changes that I am definitely going to be doing to the tank, um, including the pump that I'm going to be buying for the Calquasso, which I'm going to be, uh, which I've been thinking about. And uh, yeah, I finally decided uh, what I'm going to uh, be using. But it's been a bit of a di big decision, a bit of a debate of which one I'm going to use. Uh, spoke to a few people, and they've said, you know, just to uh, basically go with what I think and uh, what's available at this time. I mean, as we all know, we're having a shortage of chips and stuff, and companies can't get can't get the stuff out to people. So obviously, we're in that that situation. But one thing's first things first is we'll take a look at the tank. And uh, have you sh show you that, and uh, yeah, uh, then we'll talk about the rest of it. So I'll turn the camera around, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. So as you can see, guys, tank looking really good. Um, everything's thriving, but you'll notice a few changes straight from the bat. First things first is you're going to see that the dragon soul, which was here, is gone, and it's been moved down to here. You'll also see. From the last videos that all the torches that were there are all now on the ground like i said i was going to be doing and as you can see i think they look really really good there really thriving uh, the flow that i'm getting from them is incredible so yeah i think that's just enough flow there i think they're enjoying it we've got the holy grail we've got the dragon soul and then we've got the indo as well i've also got this uh pink um hammer which has not been coming out uh, to be fair, but I think it's been shaded, you know, with the flow. Maybe there was a little bit too much flow coming, coming around here, maybe, and it was curled up. But now these are having, acting as a buffer, and I think that's what's stopping now that that that's being able to come out. And it, yeah, it's uh, absolutely loving, loving its little life there. Another point that I do want to make is obviously this bubble tip, as you can see. Still, my uh, my nemesis. Um, he basically pokes out of this crack now and he's basically I mean he's doing his thing he's coming out and he's basically filling that whole spot now he fills that whole spot and you'll be able to see that these candy canes are obviously being stung slightly by it so might have to address that um, but we'll, maybe we could just move these candy canes slightly out but I don't want them to go too close to to the uh, chalice uh, one thing first things first is this must be safe so maybe we'll have to figure out another spot for this um, we've just rested this uh, Monty Porter just on top of this this one I'm gonna be using this um, I'm gonna be taking this off and I'm gonna be using that hopefully I've said before on my last video this is gonna be going but one thing you will notice which we we'll, you'll probably be surprised at is this uh, Lobo which was just here, if you remember, behind here, I didn't want to risk that stinging anything, so I decided to stick it up up there, and uh, yeah, he's loving life there, to be fair, absolutely thriving, so can't really complain, and then we also stuck the scully, which was here as well, which was also down on the ground, if you remember, just here, I've moved this across, that was, the scully was there, I've moved that up here, and basically I went off a, uh, one of the late great uh, Jake Adams, he did a tank on his channel on the Reef Builders uh, where it basically was all scollies and stuff like that and he put it on a rock and mounted up up on the rocks and that's where I got that idea from. I thought, you know what, I might as well put this, try this up here, see whether it likes it up here. And you know what, so far so good. It's dead puff, it puffs out really, really well, so can't really complain. One issue I am having maybe is this um, PC Rainbow piece that I moved which as you can remember is over here on the other side don't think it's doing very good here this this section to be fair don't think it's liking the uh, I don't know if it's the flow or the light I'm not 100% sure but um, obviously we have the gyre which is here but it's more of the the gyre is more doing surface agitation on this side so I don't know whether it's getting enough flow um, I'm not sure if you, you guys maybe know what, what I should do whether I should move it back to this section if you remember, it was just, it was just on this, on this rock here, was it? Sorry, not on this rock, on this, in this uh, spot here. 
do I think, should I move it back there or should I leave it where it is and maybe, you know, it might recover. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. Um, also, a big point which I've not mentioned, which I should do, was the clamp has obviously gone. That went the other day um, and then that gave me the option of moving these here. Another thing because of that bubble tip is these Duncans would all get stung. So basically just put them on this spot for the time being, just till I find another place for them to go. Uh, but they're loving life and they're thriving, so can't really complain at that. My initial thing was to basically, let me just move this out of the way, was to put this Cyan Arena, just there, was to put this Cyan Arena in this spot here. But I do think that this, uh, to be fair, looks better. I think, I mean, as much as I would love that Cyan Arena to be on the full display, I just think the uh, Euphilias just look really, really good there. So another thing, let me know what you guys think, whether you think I should keep the Euphilias there or whether you think I should move the Cyan Arena there and maybe find another space for them. Maybe put them uh, over here. But then again, we've got the bubble tip, so that might be an issue again. Once again, guys, it's just that basically it falls down to space and preferences really to where I need to put them. Um, but over, overall, other than that, all the SPS are all doing really, really well. This uh, rainbow one at the back is absolutely thriving now. If it can get a better shot and a zoom in, you'll be able to see the polyps just there. You can see the polyps, just look at all the polyps flowing on it. Absolutely beautiful colour on this on this one here. And I think it will be a stunner when it's uh, when it actually grows out for sure. Um, one thing I did uh, buy, which I kept saying I would buy, is the manganese, if I can focus, was the manganese for the um, for the gunnies. And as you can see, the gunnies don't seem to be doing that bad really, especially this pink one. I think this one here, just in front of the pink, I mean, it was long tentacle, that one, but it just seems to have curled up. But the pink one, it does seem to be coming out a little bit more, to be fair. I'm dosing of that, now I'm dosing two, two mil of that a week. I'm doing that for a month. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna make sure, um, send off an ICP test. Just make sure that I'm not overdosing. I know that you can't overdose. Um, Laura commented on the live stream saying that it precipitates. So hopefully that, you know, it, I, that that's the main thing really that, you know, concerned me the most was that it can, you can't overdose with it. Um, so, Obviously, Laura, um, a master in Gonnies for sure. Um, she said that it should be okay. So, fingers crossed, that will be the case. And as you can see, the rest of the tank, guys, is all is all doing really, really good. And uh, yeah, can't can't complain. What I have done though is if I'll, I'll take, I might take a snapshot and I'll just post it here or here, one of the sides um, of my dosing now. And I've had to raise my dosing up to 350 mil now of the um, of the Aqua Forest stuff. Now, um, as you all know, I was having a few issues with the alkalinity. The alkalinity was dropping. It seemed to have dropped. It dropped down to 7.2. So, obviously, way short the, of the 8.5 that I really aimed for, to be fair. Um, so, obviously, I had to address that. Um, I also checked my calcium as well and my magnesium. Magnesium was, was fine. It was around 14 uh, 100 so that's that's reasonable don't mind that one um, but the calcium had definitely dropped and it dropped to 360 so obviously lower than it needs to be um, I do tend to aim, aim for about 400 for between 400 and 450 uh, no specific numbers and no chasing just in a ballpark and that's the ballpark that I aim for so obviously had to address those situations and I figured out that the only way was to increase the dosing so what I did was I've done a small amount of, um, you know, concentrated stuff and I, I tipped it in the sump um, and basically to raise it up and then basically when I got, when it got up to what I wanted it to be at, I basically up the ante, basically the, the dosing that I do and now I'm at 350 so obviously I'll post a picture on here or here of my uh, Kamoa uh, dosing. Um, as for the rest of it, um, and talking about the, the pump that I'm hopefully going to get, I'm going to be getting, I think now, the D&D &D, um, 
P1, I think it is, the P1T, Pro 2, two uh, P1T, I think it's called. It's the um, stepper mower, which obviously you need. Um, and the good thing with it is it's got three functions, so it can be set to either dose through the day, or it can also it can be set to can run, run continuously from anywhere from one to I think it's don't hold me quote me on it, but I think it's to 140 mils or 300 uh, mils um, per minute. So that's fantastic. Obviously, I'm going to be starting lower, but working it out from my um, my my RO, I marked the RO container. Um, you won't be able to see it, but I mark the RO container um, each day for the for the week. And I'm at this moment in time. Obviously, it's the winter, so it's not as hot. Um, it's probably using around about two two and a half liters or something, two liters of uh, um, evaporation a night a day in here. Obviously, we're having the heating on because of the winter, but it's about two liters. So if I err on the air of caution of uh, maybe dose like say say 1.5 mil or 2 mil um, a minute of on the, on the stepper motor then obviously that'll that'll turn up to around 90 mils per um, 90 mils per hour which obviously over the over the, the the 24 hours will probably be around two liters so fingers crossed it works out that way but I've got a few people who I'm probably going to go and see guys who obviously have been running cow crossing for a while now and they know the stuff they know the business on the cow crosser so basically i'm new to it i don't really like i said i don't really want to overdose cow crosser in my tank especially with uh, everything i've got um going on in here but i do need to reduce um this and i'm thinking that once i've used all of the aquaforest uh, stuff i'm thinking that i'm probably gonna be going um the reef settlements way i think that's the the next path that i am going to be going Obviously, I said last week. I think I told you last week in the uh, the last uh, review uh, video that I did was I've turned the um, the reactor on because obviously my phosphates were rising. So switch the reactor on. Phosphates have come right back down now. So I don't know whether I'm going to be switching that off. But phosphates, uh, sorry, the raw phos. This I've been asked how 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 I um, I tumble it, and basically that is all I do. So I tumble it literally just so it's moving so that's how i basically run my my stuff in uh, in the reactor this roll obviously I, I had lower nutrients in the tank so i've had the uh the valve open on the clary c and like i said before this roll has just lasted forever and ever season three over three months now i think that has been on so it's been really really good and obviously so far so good on the um, the auto top off the auto top off is working a treat now so fingers crossed I think by moving moving these dosing just over here slightly and moving this across I think that's actually it's worked out perfect on the tank and I can't really complain about it everything seems to be working really really good so I think overall guys that I'm gonna end it there but overall I think everything has been been doing really really good on the system um, those changes are what needs to be done to implement probably better structure on the tank running calcosa maybe changing the um, aqua forest and all people say don't change something that doesn't need to be changed and I I am a, a massive person of saying that as well but I think time needs to come where I need to think about you know um, time mixing it up you know the money I'm cost is costing to run it um, I know in the scheme of things, the cost is irrelevant because of everything what you have in the tank and the cost of the corals that you buy and the you know all the equipment you buy. But nevertheless, you still need to factor in that 350 mil of this every day of each component, not just the three of them together, but of each component is costing quite a bit, especially with the, the strongs that I do put in with it. Whereas these elements, they come with everything in it. And after doing a bit of research, I think that is the route I'm gonna go over the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm just gonna use the, the stuff that I've got and then basically, uh, yeah, maybe go on to that. So let me know what you think, guy, guys, whether you think I should check, do exactly what I've just said on this on this video, or you think I should imp implement the reefs elements. Obviously, the cow croissant is a must. That's what I'm gonna be doing, but speaking to people and probably be able to reduce my 
uh, take to about 50 mil a day of this element. So that's a massive, massive difference. So leave the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, I really appreciate it. I want to get up to that magical thousand. I know there's about 60% of people who watch my videos who are not even subscribed. Even if 10% of you guys subscribe, then that would be perfect. And we'll be able to meet, reach that magical 1,000 there. Uh, the magical 1000 subscribers so once again guys really appreciate your, your feedback leave a comment below i'll get back to every single one of you um click the thumbs up if you like the video if you didn't like the video click the thumbs down but if not um if you don't join us on the live streams join us on the live streams every friday myself fish palace uh the bearded reef and jay's real reef uk join us there every friday um and yeah come and have a bit of a uh, reefing chat and a bit of everyday general chat so if not if i see you on there i'll see you there if not guys take care and i'll see you on the next video take care cheers